what's up bimbos with brembos i hope everyone is doing good mentally physically and mechanically so because assembling an ej257 is so stressful and quite an emotional roller coaster i have decided to take a little break and what a coinkadink that my brom order has just arrived so today we are going to be installing this bad boy into my 2006 sti I ordered the 48 to 51 inch universal bar in gloss black and I saw someone else do it so I know it's gonna fit. So let's jump into the unboxing and install. Styrofoam! Alright, so what you're gonna see when you get open the box is a nice little thank you Braum card. You are welcome. So this is obviously the hardware that Braum gives you. And I've heard from other videos that you will actually use some of the stock bolts if you have an STI. So I don't know how much of this we're going to be using. And then you have your support rods. These are going to attach to the bar itself and then the bottom near the floor. Good old Braum sticker. And then you have these, which I think are called like adjustable swivel arm thing things. I don't know. Um, but these go to the top where your seatbelt mounts. And you have the bar. All right, so let's start this install. As you can see, I've already removed the seats to make it a little bit easier to get to all the spots. And also I wanted to clean up a little bit. So that's where we're at. At this point, you need to decide whether you want to keep the stock seat belts or not. And I have decided to not. I'm not gonna keep them, I'm gonna take them out. So when I take these and carefully put them out, don't do that, just keep them in. So the first step is to take this and push it down to the lowest setting. They say that this is the safest and it will be the most secure, so just do that. And then you need to get a flat head and pop these guys out Oop. Oop. like that. And then this bolt is going to be a 14, so go ahead and just take this bolt completely out. So they come with a lock washer, and I don't know if this is how you're supposed to get it out, but that's the bimbo way, so we're just gonna pry this baby out. Boom. So this is the adjustable link that's gonna go right here, and I just wanna show you how it's gonna go. So you're gonna put this in. This is the stock bolt, by the way. The um, bolts that they gave us doesn't fit. It just slides right in there. It's gonna go like this, and then you're gonna put a spacer on, and then put the uh, lock washer on. Make sure that you put it in loosely so that you can still adjust it uh, when you put the bar on it. So now to get this uh, B pillar off to get the uh, C belt out, you're gonna take this out and I have the tool but it never works for me, so I'm gonna get some flathead action. Now you can start pulling this thing out. It sounds rough, but just like it. Now you have the B pillar out. So just pull it out like that. Now that you have the pillar off, you can access this bolt, which is a 10, and then the bottom one, which is a 14, and then that will help you pull the seatbelt out. Right now you can pull this out and you have to disconnect that. You just get a little pick and pop it up. You can pull it out like that. Last thing you have to do to disconnect the seat belt is disconnect this 14 millimeter bolt down here. So once you unbolt the bottom, of course there's something else because it's a Subaru. You have to disconnect that clip back there. There is one seat belt out and we didn't die. We're going to attach the harness bar to the little adjustable arm thingies using the two uh, eight millimeter Allen key bolt thingies that they gave us. And it's just going to slide in like this. So that side will go there, and that side will go there. Now this is a lot easier with someone helping you, but I'm determined to do it on my own. So enjoy my little struggle. Ooh! Alright, no cross or anything here. Once you have the harness bar on a uh, finger tight, then you're gonna get the support rods. And you'll notice 
there's a small side and then a bigger side on the sport rods. The small side is gonna go up top and then the bigger one is gonna go at the bottom. And I wanted to show you guys how the hardware mounts on here. So this is the hardware for Braum that you're gonna use and it's gonna go with the bolt, a washer, and then another washer, and then the uh, nut right here. The side is in, and then at the bottom of the support rod, we just use the stock bolt, and it comes with this spacer and a washer, and we use the stock bolt and just the washer right there. And this threads directly into the chassis, so it'll be strong and safe. All this is now pretty much tightened. Um, for this, it's gonna be a 17. So get like a ratchet and a wrench or two ratchets and go ahead and tighten the support rod up. Now we need to adjust these and tighten up the bottom. And once you adjust this uh, support rod to where you want it, make sure you tighten this and pull it all the way down so it meets the rod. And then same with the bottom. With my carpet, I'm saying that I'm gonna have to cut it because there's just nowhere for this rod to sit. On this side, it kind of like fits perfectly. So might have to trim up a little bit. So the passenger seat is in, and we need to clip all these things in under the driver's seat. And there it is, all assembled and looking so good. I'm in love with it. Not gonna lie though, these hurt my neck a little bit because it's only one, so they're like pretty tight. But I still love it and it looks so good. And here is the back. Uh, I put these little cute pink zip ties on there. And here's the bottom. So we took the bottom of uh, the harness, how it already comes, and actually threaded that through on um, the right side of the driver's seat. And that worked out fine. But over here, this bolt was not um, the same. So we just bolted the seat down and then clipped the harness to the seat. And I know it's not the safest way, but I don't really care. Had a good life, sorry mom. And so yeah, that's how that's hooked on. And the front is just the two uh, stock bolts that it came with. All right, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys like the install and I hope if you're doing this, it helps you out. Um, I've watched a few videos and they're pretty good, but there was a little bit of confusion on like which bolts went where. And if you get the Braum uh, racing harness, it doesn't come with instructions. I think they have a little bit of information on their website, but I hope this video helps and I hope you guys like the harness setup as much as I do. It honestly looks so good. I'm in love with it. Only thing, like I said, that I kind of don't like is how close these uh, straps sit on my neck. So it's a little uncomfortable, but it looks cool. So it's worth it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.